Hi guys, welcome back. Today's recipe is going to be a dessert called halwa. And I've done another halwa recipe that's going to be linked in the upper right hand corner. That one was made with cream of wheat. This one is going to be made with flour. So this is usually made when babies are born. So 6 or 12 days after the baby is born, they usually have a little get together and they make halwa and they save it with dosti roti. And in my family, we made a lot of halwa because there's a lot of kids in our family. So every time a baby was born, my grandma used to make halwa. And she didn't even have to have an occasion, such as a birth, to make halwa. She used to always make it, like on a Sunday. She would make it and she would call all of us over to have some halwa with roti. So I'm going to share one of my family's traditional recipes with you guys and I hope you enjoy it. And I know the look of the halwa is going to turn you off because it looks very similar to baby poop and the myth is that the adults would tell the kids that they mix some of the baby poop in the halwa to make it look green but it's actually the halwa masala that makes it green and you will see that in the video as I make it so if you guys want to see how I prepare this really delicious dessert then keep watching so these are the ingredients you're gonna need for the recipe the first thing I have here is some flour and I went ahead and parched the flour. I parched it in a flat pan. And make sure that it's dry completely. The pan is dry. Because you don't want the flour to create any lumps. So you're going to parch it for about 5 to 8 minutes. Until the flour becomes very light. So when you're turning it, there's no resistance. It's very light and fluffy. So that should take anywhere between 5 to 8 minutes. And you're also going to have it on medium to low heat. And you want it to have a very light golden brown color I don't know if you guys can see it in mine but there's a little golden brown undertone in the flour I also have some granulated sugar some cinnamon, some elaichi or cardamom and a bay leaf or a cinnamon leaf this is from the bay rum tree so it's not the same as the bay laurel which is the most common type of bay leaf this is a different one I have some ground ginger you'll need a lot of ginger for this recipe I have some whole milk or full cream milk or we call this stay fresh milk back home. Some evaporated milk or we call this carnation milk back home. And the most important ingredient is the halwa masala. So I've never seen this in the groceries out of Trinidad. So I can't promise you guys that you're going to get it. So you'll have to get this in Trinidad. I know almost every single grocery has this selling. And this is what you have to use to make the halwa. There is a way you can make it without using this. And I'll have my mom do that recipe when I go to Trinidad. Showing you it step by step from scratch without this halwa masala. And the last thing you'll need is some ghee. And this is the brand that I love to use. I think every Trini could agree. This green can of ghee is the best. Because I've used different types of ghee and it didn't really work out. So all the exact measurements and ingredients are going to be listed in the description box below. So just click the little arrow underneath the video and you will see all the exact measurements you'll need. And if you want to make a bigger portion of this halwa, then just send me a comment down below. I'll send you guys the recipe. I'm not going to use this entire pack. I'm just going to use about quarter to half of this pack. So for this step, you'll need a big basin. And because I'm only using one cup of flour, which is not a lot, I'm just going to use this basin. So we're going to add all our ingredients except the ghee, the halwa masala, and the bay leaf. So you want to make sure that your flour is completely cooled, because if it's not cooled, when you add your milk, it's just going to form lumps. And you don't want it to get lumpy. So you're going to add this to your basin. And to my milk, I've actually added some more water. So I've just topped it up with a little bit of water and I may add a little more depending. So you want to whisk your milk and your flour together and the water. And try to not let it get lumpy. with making lopsy. This is very very similar. And you're going
gonna add the evaporated. So it's gonna get like a really thick base, like lopsy. I will have that lopsy video linked for you guys in the upper right hand corner. Just click the little eye and you'll see that video. So just add your cinnamon and your elaichi. You don't have to add these if you don't want to. You can just add the ginger, the sugar, and the ginger. And for this recipe, you need a lot of ginger. Just like when you're making lopsy, you need plenty of ginger. And if you did want to put a little bit of essence or extra vanilla extract, you can add a little bit at this point too. So I'm going to add just a little bit more water. So just whisk in a little bit of water. Now we're going to go over to the pot to cook it. So to a pot on low heat, you're going to add your ghee. And you just want to let that melt. So once your ghee has melted now, you're going to add your halwa masala in. I'm just going to add quarter of this pack. I think that was about quarter. So you just want to stir that around. And we're not going to let this fry like when you're frying curry. You just want to let it stir around a little bit in the hot ghee. And then we'll add the flour in. So after a minute in the hot ghee now, now we're going to add your flour mixture in. And you want to keep stirring this. As you add it, just keep stirring, just like lopsy, because you don't want this to get too thick, too quick. I know it's not too appealing, like the color is not too nice. So just keep stirring, and you want it to resemble that thick cream, kind of like pastry cream or lopsy. And I forgot to add the bay leaf in there, so I'm going to add it now. You would want to add the bay leaf when the ghee is hot, when you're adding the masala. I don't know where my brain is, I forgot to add that. So I'm going to switch over to my whisk now because it's getting very thick. at the thickness that I wanted now so you want it to be nice and thick but not too thick so I left it like this because as it cools it's gonna thicken up even more and we're gonna eat this with roti so you want it to be a little bit thick but a little bit runny as well where you could dip it with the roti and eat it so I'm gonna finish up the rotis and then I'll show you guys a finished product I just finished making my toasty roti or two-in-one roti and this is how we typically serve halwa in Trinidad well at least in my family this is how we eat it with the toasty roti and then we break a piece of the roti and dip the halwa and it's so delicious I know it doesn't look delicious but it's really really delicious so I hope you guys try it if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments leave them below let me know if you guys make this, if you've ever tried it, if you want to try it but you're scared. Leave me comments below on your thoughts on this dessert because I know a lot of you probably don't know about it. So I hope you guys try it out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, 
click the subscribe button to see all my latest videos as soon as I post them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.